Hey okay. everyone, how are you? Since no one seems to actually be on it, we don't have to show my face. But yeah, we do. Yes, we do. Yeah, we do. Hey. Hello. How are you? Okay, here we are in Wendy's room. We're going to do it again. Yep. And uh, you can watch it on record because it is, re well, obviously, it's yep. recording. So, cool. Right. So, I found this one sheet wonder and loved it and did it for Christmas. I actually made 10 cards because I did it a couple times. And I just knew that this would be a whole lot of fun. It goes really, it's pretty quick. So this is your pattern. Y'all already got it. And then I'm going to make one and we'll just go from there because you just get the stamp and, and have fun. Okay. So you take your ruler, take your paper. It's vertical. And you make two little dots at four and seven eighths for the um, vertical line. So there you go. And do these really light. I'm going to make them a little darker just so you can see them a little better. Four and seven eighths. Four and seven eighths. Oh, I need my glasses for that. Yep. And so um, when you do this and after you've stamped, please make sure your paper is good and dry. The, the ink is good and dry before you erase those lines. And you know what? I, I ended up with mine so light that I didn't erase anything. Okay, so there you have your vertical line at four and seven eighths. Okay, and we're going you're gonna get five cards out of this. It really won't matter. All right, then turn your paper landscape. And you're going to do with the skinnier part on top and the fatter part on the bottom. Yeah. 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 It looks like. Okay. So, and it, it probably wouldn't matter really, but that's, yeah, but it, it may not. We'll see. So, so now you're going to do three and five eighths. That's different. Okay. So three and five eighths, you're going to make two dots at three and five eighths. Okay, and then, then turn your paper back around. Do what? Turn your paper oh, back oh, vertical. Okay. okay. Then the these are going to make these two lines up to the pencil mark that you made. Okay. And I don't know if y'all can see it at all, but I'll show you the pattern again in a minute. Yeah, they've got the pattern anyway. Yeah. There. Okay. They're all smart ladies. So then what you draw, so now you have three. It looks so crooked, but I guess it's not. Turn it back to landscape. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna make two lines on that, that border that's left mm -hmm. at the top. Two of them at four and seven eighths again. Four and seven eighths, four and seven eighths. So turn your paper back and make those two lines. And that's number four, card number four. And then card number five. And that little tiny section right here, I put an X in it, because that's gonna get thrown away, just to help me see it. All right, now I know you saw Wendy's in our sample. It was funny that we, we didn't confer and we both chose the same stamp set, which is a really cute one. Um, and you, you have it? Yeah, I've got it. Okay. And it's called Country Bouquet. And it comes with a bunch that cuts out this part right here and then the leaves. See it? Oh, well, that's kind of bright. Anyway, look at the catalog. And it comes, you can get two kinds of paper with it. This is the country gingham. If you buy the whole tweet, that's kind of cute. Six by six. And then there is the country floral lane. These fit the punch. 
Mm -hmm. Punches the whole thing out. Punches, punches the whole punches thing out. Yep, super cute. Very cute paper. And what I did is I chose the colors that are in the designer series paper pack. And those are the colors that I'm going to stamp in. And there's the pattern if you need to see it one more time. Okay. You should have it. Yeah. Because I'm sure you can't see my lines. So, um, what I'd like to do is um, start with the, one of the bigger images first, which is going to be this heart. And it's a two step. You get the flowers and then go over it with, uh, you get the leaves. And I'll show you what it looks like in just a minute. So, and, and I've chosen to use just an old set. I don't even think it's available anymore, but this, what I was going to say is if this works the best. You could do it with a set that you have to do some coloring. Yes. But you probably won't want to. No. <laughs> so it works best with stamps that are solid, mm -hmm. um, like these or like like that, um, that are mostly solid. Yeah. Um, if you do it with ones that are colored, you're going to do a lot of coloring. Like, yeah. With blends and stuff. So, But I am, I'll show you a stamp set in a little while that I want to try. That's a two-step stamp. And actually, it's two steps like this, um, and I'll show you later. So I'm going to do all the little hearts and flowers on this heart in sweet sorbet. And all you do is follow the lines that you have. And I, like I said, start with the biggest one and, you know, stamp off your paper. And please be careful about catching the edges. Because boy, I have cussed over a couple of them. I'll show you in a little while. And all you do is just stamp. And this way, you're going to get five oh. um, Valentine cards all at once. How cool is that? Lisa's here, I think. Bye, mm, Lisa. Uh, And you really can't make too much of a mistake with this. It's, you know, it's really not that bad. All right, now I'm going to go back with the second stamp that goes over this heart. And um, I didn't want that color, but that's okay. Um, thank God for photopolymer, because you know I can't see through it, but this sure helps. So all you're going to do, line that back up. Lisa, are you there? I'm here. I'm just watching. Okay. Um, did you get your template? You should be able to draw those lines yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Draw, draw them, draw them lightly. You can see yeah. Susan's lines. Just draw them super lightly because you're going to erase them later. Okay. Okay. And then, then you catch up. <laughs> I, you're recording so I can watch later when I feel better. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, just draw, you can draw the lines yourself. It's pretty self-explanatory. See yep. how, look, look at that. And you know, I'm not, I know. it's so easy with photopolymer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause this one really has holes for like where the little flowers go. And, and all you need to make sure is that your stamp at some point touches a line. Yeah. Or an edge. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yes. But preferably the lines because you leave the edges. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Some edges so will be blind. You see what I'm doing? Mine are touching the lines. Okay. Or so we hope. <laughs> uh, Depends on how many glasses of wine. Yeah. I only had, I'm on number two. So we're still relatively, you see that right there? The little boo boo I made where the edge, uh, we'll fix that. that. Over that. We'll fix that bad boy. There are no mistakes, only happy accidents. Yeah, not Ross. So, and you see, I'm turning my paper so I can stamp on it correctly. Boy, I about screwed that one up. Um, and you're going to do that the whole time. I don't know why can't I can't see that one. Uh, if you want to watch anything, there. this is wet. Okay. Ta -da! That was a little off, but I don't care. Okay, so there's that one. Then you're just going to take other 
stamps, smaller stamps. Yeah, and I'm taking them all from this set, and you're going to just keep on going on the lines. Doesn't have to be straight on the line. They don't all need to be facing the same direction. It's okay if they go into over the line and go into the other card front because you're going to, that's what you want to do is you're making all these different card fronts. Uh, okay, I'll wait on that one. All right, and just keep going until you fill it up. This is mint macaron, and these are the leaves that actually will punch out if you get that one. And I do love a punch, oh gosh, because it makes it so easy. See the middle? You know, I'm a heavy-handed stamper. I wish I weren't, but I am. Oh, you should have seen those kids I worked with last weekend. Ooh, I'm like, gently, they don't know them. No. They don't know them gently. Nope. So oh, they you will. make a little boo-boo well, like that, it's okay, we can cover it up. Well, Lisa? How are they with just a dot, not a lot? Yeah, they weren't good with that either. Oh my God. <laughs> there was glue everywhere. Uh, and I know you took glitter. Glitter? I did not. I took some rhinestones. No glitter, but they use the rhinestones like glitter. And I'm like, no, less is more. No, no. They don't. Care. With kids, more is more. More is more, and more is even more. If some is um, just keep going, you can stamp over an image. Uh, see how I covered that boo boo up? Ta da! Oh, son of a gun. Biscuit. And I'm now going to use balmy blue. And that oh, way you can, um, you know, use it for a guy card. Too. Oh, well, we'll stamp over that. Probably a little, my stamp is dorked up. Overlap is fine. And I've got some little leaf. As long as you've got your big stuff done, just fill in with the little, fill in with the little. The little stuff. Now, when you're going, and if there's something you don't like, or you don't know if it's enough, just stop. And then when you think you're done and you cut these bases up, then you'll be able to tell you if you need stuff. to more, you know, to do some more stuff. And that's fine too. So now I'm gonna do, let's see, these little tiny hearts, little open hearts. I didn't really mean to do balmy blue, but that's okay. okay. So far, that's what I've got. Yeah. Looks beautiful. <laughs> well, this is really, oh gosh, I stamped it green, but that's okay. <laughs> Clean that stamp. But you know, no one will know that you messed it up unless you nope. changed it. And no, we're not going to do that. There are no mistakes. That's right. And so you just keep going. Let's see, I have another little leaf somewhere. Oh, I thought I did. Anyway, okay. So I'm thinking, okay, that might be enough. But we'll see when we cut it. So all you're going to do, should I slow down? Am I going too fast? She's probably catching up. Are you catching up, Lisa? Are you stamping with us, Lisa? No, I'm just watching. Okay. Oh, you're just watching. Okay. okay. Well, then we'll keep going. All right. <laughs> so now all you're going to do is cut on the lines. And I know you probably cannot see them, but I can see them. I'm still stamping. That's okay. Go ahead. Because I might have to do some more. You know, you never know. Dang, where's that line? There it is. Sometimes I'm you know, it's so light you can't see anything. And if you don't get it exactly on the line, that's okay too. Okay. And then this last one. Oh, my finger. 
Mm. Guess what? We're gonna put a flower there. <laughs> yep. Or a rhinestone or a safety yeah. plan. Okay, and then there's this part that we cut off and throw away because we don't need that. And it really kind of looks ugly. So here they are. See how quick that went? I'm still stamping. Yeah, she's still stamping, but you know, I got a head start. See, here's what I've got so far. It's yeah. See, you see the all the lines? I'm just putting some leaves on. And I could maybe try yeah. to figure out where how this went back together, but do you do I need to? Nah. So anyway, now you have your five. Just check them to see if there's, you know, any blank spots. I mean, you do want some blank, which yeah, is fine. Your sentiment. You can put your sentiment. I do find that I get real heavy handed. There will be two of them that you're going to probably have stamping on three different sides, but that's okay. And you can make the card um horizontal or vertical mm -hmm. and it doesn't really matter you know it just depends on how you want it to look so there they are and i mean that went really quick and i think i'm pretty happy with the way they look for the most part maybe when i add my sentiment which i have already stamped a little sentiment maybe i will um add some more stamping we'll just have to see how it goes so then all you have to do is take one and put it on a base and add your sentiment and you're pretty much done. I mean, look at that. Hearts are sometimes upside down. I don't care. Turn it around if you don't like it. Now I cut that sentiment right out of the middle of the back of my card because no one's going to see that. Yeah. Save paper. That's right. And you're going to put it on a base. And what I did on um, some of the samples was I added an extra border. I put an extra layer. See how there's the sorbet? Mm -hmm. and then I did that on mine too. Yeah, a couple, couple borders. <laughs> you know, you don't have to trim more off these centers. Yeah. If you, if you want it a little smaller and had a lot of layers. I mean, it's really open to what you just feel like doing. Okay, here's mine. Oh, cute. Aren't they cute? I mean, look how quick that went. Yep. And then I'll just put a little content right there, maybe a ribbon, maybe a, you know, put yep. it up. So I've got a little part mark. Yep. <laughs> what <laughs> <stuff>. this. <laughs> so I'm really not drunk yet, I really am not. <laughs> so see, and what I did on this, yeah. and I know it's really probably hard for you to tell, is I took this little flower stamp, stamped it off, and I'll show you what that means on the back because no one will see it. I inked it up full strength, stamped on my scrap paper, and then stamped on that. And it just gives you a little faint image. I don't even know if what you have, I, on the oh. background. <laughs> just to give you some something instead of it being so plain, you know, mm -hmm. and happy Valentine's Day comes in that set. So all I'm going to do, oh, and you didn't even have to erase your lines. No, you really, sometimes right. you can't see them. You might right. be able to see a hit, but if yeah. someone saw that, good then you. They're looking way too hard. Yeah. So all I'm going to do, do we have some adhesive? Okay, on this or glue? I don't, this is fine. Um, here, I'll put a chanton on mine. And then okay. stick that on. Just like that. And I'll probably pop this up with dimensionals. Do you have any? I forgot to bring them. Yep. No, I have no dimensionals. Oh, oh, oh heavens. Well, I got like 15 packs of them. <laughs> no, that might be a bit much, but. No, so not pop even that close up on to dimensionals. Too much. What, Lisa? Not even close to too much. I go through those things. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Me Isn't too. Something? I love Crazy. All right. And what I also did was the designer paper that I showed you earlier that kind of goes with this little set, the uh, country gingham. I picked out one of the patterns, matches that, and using the punch that goes with the stamp set, I punched out one of those. Let's see, where do I want it? Yeah, that looks good. 
and I'll use a dimensional just on the bottom of that. That blue is pretty big. And I'm going to hang it off that. I could even put a drop of glue underneath, mm -hmm. but you, you know, don't need it. You okay. really don't need it. That dimensional will hold it. And ta da, a Valentine card. Look how yep. quick that was. And I've still got four more to make. Yep. And there's cute little sentiments. And I see, I, we're friends. I didn't even do anything on another piece of paper. I just stuck it, just printed my sentiment right there. And I mean, I'll stick it on a backing and done. Boom. Put a rhinestone and yep. And there you go. So I thought this was a great one sheet mm -hmm. wonder. Mm -hmm. I did make um, at least 10 Christmas cards with a set that had a lot of leaves and pine cones. And oh my gosh, I loved it. Mm -hmm. So there's that. And I went through the catalog and just um, typed up a list of stamp sets that would work. And these are just my opinion. I you could yeah. would work well with this. Yeah. And you said these are from the regular catalog. This is from the mini catalog. Lisa, uh, Wendy sent you yeah. one. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, got you just turned on it. So yeah, there's quite a few from the new thing. Mm -hmm. And yeah. since celebration is going on, I just got this set yesterday. Hadn't even had time to, to pull it out. The thanks a bunch, and I didn't think, oh, carrots, really? What am I going to do with that? Oh, my Lord. I have seen some of the cutest little things. Oh, there's like some pot and stuff. I thought the same thing, too. I was like, really? Carrots? Yeah. No. But they're so stinky. But I want to try this method using these carrots with the little for a springtime Easter card. Yeah. So, and fun. I'll show you how I was sitting one evening, you know, thinking about this. Um, Oh, and here's the framelits that I use. This is new. They're called something fancy. I have those, yep. And they go with a sentiment set. I have the sentiment set. It's great. Yeah. What's the name of that thing? Uh, something I'm fancy. I'm taking it to Michigan. It's in my tote okay. already. Yeah. So, I Lisa, think. do you get, are you going to Wendy's thing? Yes, she is. Yes, I oh, am. Cool. You'll get to see it. I got... can show you that stamp set and these. Yeah. It is so cool. Do you have a big shot? The, uh, the the one machine. Yeah, it's by Sizzix. Is that yeah? Is yeah, that the big yeah, yeah. Same thing. Yeah, okay, because Wendy is taking my little mini one. You can set that right on your desk and pull it back and forth, and all mm -hmm. these fit in it. It's great. But here's some that I was just sitting one night and just making these up. This was an old retired stamp set, and you can see, you know, mm -hmm. following that pattern. Oh, that's this cute. is nature's print. I thought that mm -hmm. one came out pretty good. Mm -hmm. That one's good. Um, beautiful like the uh, friends were like she friends are like friends seashells. are like seashells yeah and i made a boo-boo but you know what i'll cover that hard and sandy <laughs> oh i like that too friends i get you know crabby <laughs> <laughs> only sometimes put on foam <laughs> this one is um artistic something uh artistically inked ink. this is a yeah. great stamp set too and I thought that one came out pretty good. So, I mean, you know, there's a bunch that you can do this with. Five cards, mm -hmm. done Super with. Fast. Yep. And there you go. Okay. Um, so, what you think? You like it? I love it. That's good. a great idea. Good. Yay. All right. Um, and we do need to talk about, um, and I know, Lisa, this is, this is for, um, well, no, I think everybody in Michigan already knows and always told me, but this is for, um, I feel like I want to talk to people. <laughs> okay. Hello. Um, Hi, girls. <laughs> this uh, coming, well, let's see. I I've got my Michigan class, but on the 29th of January, I'm having a class here in Hampstead, North Carolina. So anybody um, on here that lives around here, um, it's at three o'clock on Sunday, the 29th, and would love to have you. And um, yeah, so there's that. And I'm going to do one in February. I don't know the date yet, but I'll let everybody know. So be looking out for that. And uh, if you have a date that's good for you, let me know. And maybe we can work it out. So that'll be fun. 
and spend and of course during celebration so you spend 50 you get something for free mm -hmm. and they do have some cutie things this time you spend 100 you get more things you spend yeah. 150 you get more things they have some of the most beautiful designer paper yeah oh my goodness it really is good this time yep so anyway all right bye lisa. you got any you got any questions lisa no? Um, I think we, you were looking at the carrots. I think if you have like little rabbit to kind of work into the border. There is, is a carrot, I mean, a, bunny, a bunny, good grief. Um, in the mini? In a different size. Yeah. I yes. think that would be kind of cute to work into the border too. Super cute. And I think it has a punch too, so you don't need the big shot. Great. So yeah, I've seen a couple where they put some of these smaller carrots in the bunny's yep. paw. Oh, so they're, they're out there. You can find them. That's a really good idea. Yeah. Cute. Kind of goes hand in hand. Do what? Yeah, they do go hand in hand. Yeah. <laughs> and at Christmas time, some deer, some Rudolph, reindeer with the carrots. That'd be kind of oh, a cute oh, yeah, combination. Yeah. Too. They do have some that are small. That could work too. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess that's it. Um, Lisa, it was fun to have you with us. <laughs> Everybody else, um, let's catch the replay. I will catch the replay. You. You <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> all tired. right. How's, tired. The, how's the weather there? You're gonna you're gonna keep the snow away while I'm there, right? Um, I can keep it away through the weekend. It's supposed to be like maybe 40, and only the little chances crap on tomorrow. Okay, well, I'm driving on the weekend. <laughs> I'll drive halfway on Saturday and the rest on Sunday. So yeah, that's good. No snow while I'm driving. No snow. No. Well, it can snow once I'm there, but you know, <laughs> how long do you get to stay? Till uh, the 20, I'm leaving on the 22nd. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Bye. Yeah, I'll see, you. see you soon. Bye. Bye. Uh, and Thank you.